read in the criminal complaint they're about to file with the judge specifically what investigators think, but they do tell us they are going to be filing two counts of criminal homicide. Yeah, self-defense. Why did you shoot them? Because uh, they attacked me. Did they have a gun? They attacked me at close range. 30-year-old Josh Huber faces charges of shooting and killing a man and a woman inside his Etna apartment this morning. An upstairs neighbor who heard the shots rushed down to respond and confronted Huber. Stuck a 12-gauge in his face and made him get on the floor. It's hard to argue with a 12-gauge. Neighbor Don Cox said he saw the two shooting victims in Huber's unit here in this Etna apartment building on Vilsack Street. There I find a young lady laying in the middle of the living room floor dead. A fellow laying on the couch dead and the shooter standing in the middle of his apartment covered in blood. Other shaken neighbors also heard the gunfire. They were actually fighting beforehand and then I guess the guy just pulled the gun out and just like six or seven shots quick too. Acting County Police Superintendent Jim Morton says another woman was found unconscious on the apartment floor but was not shot. She was hospitalized. Same day they were all friends and everything is contained in the apartment so there's no reason for an alarm in the area. Neighbor Cox says he heard shouting before the shots and that Huber told him he was calling 911 himself. Cox speculates Huber may have been acting in self-defense. I would have to say he was defending himself. From what I heard, he was defending himself. The medical examiner's office has now released the names of the two persons shot and killed. They are 22-year-old Melissa Zook of McCandless and 30-year-old Derek Schindler of Glenshaw. Their autopsies are scheduled for tomorrow morning. Reporting live at Allegheny County Police Headquarters, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. All right, Bob.